got JV first, dude. Right? Yeah. I don't know that there'll be a ton of matches, but. Wrestling fans, Dave Peterson with Minnesota USA Wrestling here. I'm here with Brian Nations from the uh, Anuka Wrestling side of the family. <laughs> Helping out with the audio tonight. We got some JV action uh, before that. I think uh, varsity schedule started at 7. Correct. And looks like we got the uh, what, community TV here in the house. Also doing some. Yep, it's a, a station out of Coon Rapids that, I mean, they pretty much uh, cover all the uh, Coon Rapids duels. Ah, nice. Well, I'm getting some double love then. So I'm going to take some pictures here and I'll be in and out and I'll just leave it up to Brian to react when he wants them. Like I mentioned, we're ending the folk style season here, coming up with section teams, individual style by state, and then we go into the uh, Olympic style wrestling. Yep. Which is uh, my fan favorite with the Greco. A lot of these Anoka kids are looking forward to the freestyle Greco season. And yeah, I've seen a few of them. All right, I'm going to go get some pictures of the JV folks, so uh, enjoy, folks. I'll be back and leave it up to Brian. Appreciate your help. Thanks. Thank you. Our first JV match of the night is uh, Caleb Brandenburg going against Spencer Clear, a 7th grader. <laughs> Caleb Brandenburg is an 8th grader. Takedown defense there by Brandenburg. They're going to go out of bounds. Half a minute gone in the first period. Pretty nice setup there on that takedown. He gets the two points. nothing Coon Rapids in this bout. Just under a minute to go in the first period. Thank you. 
blood, Anoka. Come back with 50 seconds left in the first. Clear is going to put uh, Brandenburg up to his feet. Ties there by the rest. There's not much room to move in there. Does a good job of getting to the leg. Fifteen seconds to go here. Brandenburg slips out of that single. After the first period, uh, two to one in favor of uh, Spencer Clear. Clear's going to defer the choice. Brandenburg's going to take down. Switch attempt right off the whistle, wasn't able to clear that inside arm, got stopped pretty quickly. Up to his feet now, Clear's got to get a mat return here, we're going to get a stall call. There's a stall call on Clear. Caleb with a standing switch, not able to clear. Brandenburg needs to try to get separation to get the one point escape. We're going to be a stalemate here shortly, the way it looks. Brandenburg unable to get separation to get the one escape point. It's going to go back underneath. Brandenburg able to slip a switch in there and get the two-point reversal. Takes a 3-2 lead with 30 seconds to go. Brandenburg with a half Nelson gets him to his back. He's got exposure points here. Trying to slip the legs in. He's got one hook in. Brandenburg's going to get three near fall, but give up two on the reversal right towards the end of the second period. Six four at the end of two. That clock is not uh, buzzing at the end of the period. What do you mean? He's manually doing it. Oh, we turned it off. Blood time for Anoka again. Spencer Clear chooses to start down to start the third period, trailing six to four. 
Brandenburg was able to get a turn last time he was riding. Let's see if he can do it again. Clear does have a stall warning on him. He needs to stay active. Brandenburg able to tip him with that half again. He's got that locked in tight. He's going to have the three near fall. A minute 15 to go. Brandenburg gets the fall at 4 minutes and 49 seconds. Wrestling in the 113 pound match in the JV side is going to be uh, Johnny Soto, a, a freshman from Coon Rapids. He's going to take on Jake Miller. He's a sophomore from Minoka. I'm having a little issue with the clock. Looks like we're ready to get going. to a double leg, drives the Soto off the edge of the mat. Miller trying to get at his underhook, missed the leg there. Nice go behind by Miller. He's going to take a 2-0 lead with a, just over a minute to go in the first. Trying to work a cross wrist tilt, not able to get the arm trapped. <laughs> Going to get a restart in the middle. Miller up two to nothing. 32 seconds to remaining in the first. able to get a turn and what looks like an arm bar. Time's going to run out. He's going to gather three more points. Going to take a 5-0 lead going into the second. Miller with a 
quick switch off the whistle there. It's going to go up seven to nothing. Throws in the legs. Johnny Soto gets a stall warning. Working to try to get a power half in there, not having much luck. 30 seconds to go in the second. Miller with a 7 0 lead. Tries to lock up a, tra a cradle. Lift up the legs, step to a half. Time winding down in the second. We're going to go to the third. Miller's going to have a 7 0 lead. Soto's going to choose neutral to start the third. Miller needing one point to get a major decision. Soto with an arm drag gets the takedown. Miller's going to cut him loose with the major decision already secured. Try to score some more takedowns. Forty-five seconds to go in the third, an eight-point lead for Miller. awarded yet. The time's going to expire. 9-1 major decision for Miller. Rashid at 100.
120 is going to win by forfeit. Wrestling for Coon Rapids at 126 is Gabe DeGreese. Philip Cronkey for the Anoka Tornadoes. DeGreese is a sophomore. Philip Cronkey is a junior for Anoka. Cronkey gets the takedown. He's got an inside cradle locked up. Trying to drive him over. Gets him to his back here. Not able to keep him there. Not sure that he got the two count. For, he did get the two count for exposure. He's going to take a four to zero lead. Cronky throws in the legs, trying to work that power half. Trying to work that power half. He's getting way high. Looks like the grease could slip out of this. Cronky gets near fall count. We're going to go up to neutral as DeGreese gets the escape. 25 seconds. Misdirection shot there by DeGrees. Got uh, Cronky down on his hip. Nice wizard by Cronky. Fight that off. Needs to get that leg out of there. Does a good job. Gets back up to neutral. First period's going to end 7 to 1 in favor of Cronky. Cronky goes down to start the second. Cronky <laughs> steps over the legs. Cronky slips out the side. He's going to get another cradle locked up. He, he gets a reversal. Cronky's got another inside cradle locked up. Cronky, Cronky cuts them loose, gets back to their feet. It's nine to two. Nice head tap double there. Takes Cronky down. Cronky builds his base but gets called for stalling anyway. He's just kind of hanging on that hand. Ten seconds to go in the second. Cronky with a 9 to 4 lead. Yeah. 
Reese is going to take down to start the third, trailing four to nine. leg trap there in a little bit of a tough position. Frankie gets put down on his hip again. He's got to be careful here. He needs to throw in the power half. Bronke gets reversed to make the score six to nine. Reese with the cradle locked up. Cronky able to fight it off. Grease cuts him loose. He needs to try to get two takedowns here. They're going to go out of bounds. 10 to 6. Cronky with the lead. Reese in with another shot. Cronky looking for that side headlock. He's really good with that head in the hole. Tends to get a lot of cradles out of that. They're going to step out of bounds with 20 seconds left. Cronky clinging to a four point lead. Ten to eight, three seconds to go. Cronky gets called for stalling one more time. It's going to make the score ten to nine. Cronky got out to a, a big lead there, and looks like he might have gassed a little bit. Let the grease back in the match. <laughs> At 132 pounds, it's going to be Jacob Linville, a freshman for Coon Rapids. Gavin Glenn, the so or junior, is going to be wrestling for Anoka. swims out of that precarious situation, ends up with a two-point takedown. Looks 
likes to get that cross arm and run the butcher. your points. Three point with a three point near fall. 5-0 lead, three seconds to go in this first period. Hey, you pay attention to your job here. <laughs> I haven't messed up once yet. <laughs> trying to put the legs in. Glenn gets him over onto his hip. He can swim, if he can swim out here. going to restart him after a stalemate. 31 seconds to go. Glenn with a 5-0 lead. Glenville with a trap arm. Glenn gets to his feet, just sits back into him. He gets a two-point reversal, goes up 7 to nothing. 10 seconds to go in the second. <laughs> Coon Rapids is going to take neutral in the second, or start the third period, trailing seven to nothing. in on a double leg. Not able to convert it yet. Needs to swim up with his arms. Glenn's got his two. Run him out of bounds. Get a fresh start. Nothing for Gavin Glenn. He's got the major decision in hand. with a 
reversal, he's getting back points. We've got a minute to go in this uh, match. unable to work his way off his back. He's still going to have a four-point lead with 30 seconds remaining. Lindell's going to cut him loose, try to take him down to his back. He needs a five-point move with 20 seconds to go. He tries to throw a headlock. Glenn is ready for it. They're going to roll out of bounds here. He's going to run out of time. He's only going to get two near fall. It's going to be another comeback for Coon Rapids, but they're going to come up just short again. Gavin Glenn's going to win this one, 10-9. to nine. is going to lose a team point for unsportsmanlike conduct. The uh, wrestler didn't want to shake hands. I did not hear who the wrestler was for Coon Rapids. I'm guessing it's Joe Robin. That is confirmed. It is uh, sophomore Joe Robin. For Anoka, we have 10th uh, grader Tyler Young out there. in the first period, taking most of the shots. Not able to convert on any of them yet. <laughs> 20 seconds in a scoreless first period to go. is going to choose to start down to begin the second period. Good job of controlling that inside arm by Joe Robin. Robin lets him go. One point for Young. Another 
Kelly attempt by Young, blocked well by Joe Young, or Joe Robin. Young kind of climbed a whizzer there and ended up getting the takedown out of it. Robin with an escape. It's going to make it three to one. We got a minute to go. Second period. shot on the single leg there, not able to convert it. Thirty to go in the second. Young's clinging to a three one lead. Tries an inside trip there, tosses him out. He's going to get the two-point takedown. There'll be no near fall there as he's out of bounds. Tries to drag him back in, but doesn't get it. Young's do, did a really nice job of feeling the pressure there and taking uh, Robin right with it. Starts down to begin the second, trailing five to one. Robin's going to get one point escape, still trailing by three. A minute and a half to go. Young's with both the takedowns in this match so far. Elbow pass attempt there by Joe Robin, not able to get any penetration. Robin in on a leg, trying to turn the corner. Young's able to fend it off. It's a nice slick go behind for two. Up seven to two. Needs a turn. He could end up with a major here. Stall warning on Coon Rapids. Injury time here for Coon Rapids.
20 seconds left. Trailing seven to three. This one's going to end 7-3 in favor of Youngs for a three-point decision for Anoka. Wrestling at 145 pounds for Coon Rapids is the sophomore Tony Horst. For Anoka, we have uh, junior Caleb Jungling. Or no, this is Tyler Schroeder, I'm sorry. Eighth grader Tyler Schroeder. Schroeder with a takedown. 40 seconds into the first period. Sure, I don't think so, but well, we have an injury on the Anoka wrestler. Not sure what happened there. It was I don't know if he caught an elbow there. Virgil, the trainer's kind of working the knee there a little bit. This match is going to be over. Coon Rapids is going to win the 145 pound bout on an injury default. Certainly hope that's nothing serious for young Tyler Schrodel. Fifty-two pounds for Coon Rapids is going to be Andrew Zarin, a ninth grader. Anoka's has senior captain Zach Fritz. Nice duck under takedown by Fritz. Zach's going to cut him loose, go for another takedown. Two to one, 30 seconds into the first period. A little drag by Fritz, gets a two point takedown. He's gonna cut him loose again. Fritz 
Hits with a nice head in the hole, flattens him out, gets around for his two points. Zarin hanging on to that hand, not letting go. Get out of there. Go. Put the hand. Release. Release. Fritz with a tilt. Gets his three near fall. Drag to a single leg for a takedown for Fritz. Hooks the leg, trying for a Turk. 30 seconds left. Fritz cuts him loose, gets another takedown. Leading 13 to four, has a major decision in the first. 10 seconds to go. Time! Time runs out. Fritz is going to get two more near fall, make it 15 to 4. Fritz is going to choose down. Fritz gets the reversal, puts him to his back, and that's going to be a fall at 2 minutes and 19 seconds. There's plenty of them around. They're doing alumni night tonight, so they're gonna have a big introduction thing. And At 160 pounds for Coon Rapids, sophomore Austin Nevola. For Anoka, now we have junior Caleb Jungling. Caleb jungling in on a nice single leg. Crack down for the takedown. <laughs> jungling doing a good job. A lot of forward pressure trying to get that arm up over the back. He likes to run that Iowa State. Gets his chest down on the chest. He gets him turned. He's getting his exposure. 50 seconds to go. seconds to go. Nevola fights off his back. Jungling's going to collect three near fall, take a 5-0 lead. His time's winding down in the first. The score of this JV duel is currently 25 to 11 in favor of Anoka. Jungling up 
to his feet quick, wasn't able to get his legs clear. Kind of get stuck on his hip there a little bit. He's throwing in a power half. He's gonna, he's, does not get separation, but gets the two point reversal. Jungling with a 7-0 lead. He's working him over on top. Trying to dig that arm out. He's got it up over the back again. Seems we have some uh, St. Francis fans in the house tonight. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. yeah, that looks to be their 132, their 138, their 152, and their 170 pounder. Jungling gets a cradle locked up. Needs the pr yeah. Nevola breaks the cradle. Here comes the, another portion of the St. Francis team in. <laughs> they're, they're scouting for next weekend. Jungling, jungling throws the legs in. Nice thorn rolled by Nevola. Time's gonna run out here. Scores 7-0 at the end of the second period. Yeah, there's kind of a big tournament next weekend. Sections. I'll be there. I just <laughs> I don't actually really look at the calendar until it's like looming in the very near future. Mm -hmm. Coon Rapids is going to choose down to start the third period. Jungling's going to put him to his feet. Wants to go back to work with some takedowns. Caleb tries to throw there. Didn't really have good positioning. A minute 30 to go. Jungling up 7 to 1. Jungling dives in on a takedown there. Came up with a leg. Jumps over, throws in a half Nelson. Forty-five seconds to go. Jungling has the major decision. Trying to get the fall. gets the fall at 5 minutes 50 seconds. 
Anoka is going to go up 31 to 11 in this duel. For Anoka, we have uh, Bruce Milhauser, who is a 10th grader. Gets the takedown, puts him to his back. Who gets the fall? At 44 seconds of the first period, that's going to put the uh, Noka JV up 37 to 11. Coon Rapids at 108 at 182 pounds. It's going to be Shane Badness, a junior, and he's taking on Sam Street. Sammy is a ninth grader. There kind of gets stuck underneath. Going to try to work back up to his feet. Forty-three seconds remaining in the scoreless first period. Underhooks. Fifteen seconds to go. Time's going to run out in the first, no score. Big, big crowd here tonight for this rivalry duel between the Coon Rapids Cardinals and the Anoka Tornadoes. This is the battle for the Golden Shoes.
working pretty hard, not able to get a turn here. One minute gone, we are still scoreless in the second period. Gets a mat return. He's got that cross wrist. Be looking for that tilt now. Then this with a switch attempt there, countered well by Street. Sammy's got that cross wrist locked up. with a two-point reversal here at the 20 seconds left. <laughs> Street's got seven seconds left here to try to counter in the second period. One here would be huge. It's going to be Street's choice to start the third. Street stands up, comes around the top, and gets a two-point reversal to even the score in this match, two to two. We're going to the third period. You got to believe Street's going to take down. Street's going to choose down position here. All tied up at two. Dennis is going to put him to his feet right away. He feels better about giving him one than giving him two on a reversal. Vanis needs a takedown. Street needs to stay busy and stay in good position. Takedown, 30 seconds to go. Street's got to stay busy here. Down at the end to take a 7-3 decision. It's going to give Noka a 40 to 11 lead after 182 pounds. <laughs> These matches are long. Well, well it's been. I mean,
mean, this is one of the first true JV duels we've had all year. I mean, there hasn't been many teams that have fielded a full team. at 195 pounds we have Jordan Merchel he is a sophomore for Anoka we have uh, Loudon Johnson Rusko he's a freshman for shooting going on with these bigger guys. Just a lot of jockeying for position. 20 seconds left in the first. Three seconds left in this first. Gets the choice in the second period, defers till the third. Rochelle's going to take down to start the second. Nice sit out switch attempt there. Stop nicely. Loud and throwing in the legs. Heavy forward pressure there by Johnson Rusko. Gets a cradle locked up. She boosts him over, takes him to his back. Johnson Rusko gets the fall at 2 minutes and 45 seconds. going to give Anoka a 46 to 10 lead going into the 220 pound match. We have a uh, senior, Dan Foley. I did not catch the name of the uh, 
Coon Rapids wrestler. Bounce hard onto the uh, basketball floor. Seven to go in the first, no score. Yeah. It's going to be Coon Rapids' choice. That scared me. Coon Rapids will take down to start the second. Rapids comes out with a Granby roll. Kind of slides right into a headlock. There's been no change yet. At this point, Fulton, now he gives the two point reversal. Dan Foley rolls through and gets a reversal of his own. Sinks in a deep half, they're not able to get him turned. Fully working that wrist underneath. Likes to try to work that Iowa State as well. Twenty-five seconds to go. Coon Rapids wrestler sits out, gets fully to his hip. That's going to end with no change in, in control. It's going to be two to two to start the third. Foley's going to go down to start the third. on Coon Rapids. Move. Dan's got to move there. He can't stay down on those legs as long as he keeps moving. That's going to be a stall. Last man. 
trying to stall there. Foley loose. Gonna try to work for a takedown. Foley just needs to stay busy, stay in good position. up his legs there a little bit. One minute to go. Inside trip attempt there by Coon Rapids. Seconds to go. Foley clinging to a three to two lead. Twenty seconds to go. Coon Rapids in with a leg shot there. Not able to convert. Foley with a front head. He's going to run the clock out here and take a 3 to 2 win. is going to win at heavyweight by forfeit. Going to make this uh, dual score 49 to 16 in favor of Anoka's JV. Right now we're going to have uh, the Anoka alumni coming out uh, honoring the Anoka alumni tonight. We'll be back for the varsity duel in about 20 minutes. I'm going to flip this over to the other card quick. 